My fucking, I had a fucking gallo, dude. Like, what the fuck? I'm gonna take a little sip of water before we start. Oh my god, you guys. My chichis look extra big. No, I didn't get them redone. I'm wearing a faja right now. So it's like giving extra snatch. I'm feeling super buchona, super buchi fresa. If you guys like this makeup look, um, I will go ahead and list the video of how to do it down below. Be sure to check that video out. Today's video is going to be a little haul. I know you girlies miss me doing my YouTube videos, but I've been like super like stuck on TikTok. So that's why I'm just like over there. And if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, be sure to follow me. I'm constantly updating and I'm starting to go. I'm starting to do daily lives. So if you guys want to see everything that I'm doing and you're obsessed with me. Oh my God, right? Imagine nobody cares. Um, if you're obsessed with me, just go ahead and follow me on there and I will keep you updated of the latest and greatest news of Jenny69. So anyways, I went into Bath & Body Works. Honestly, I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with this store because I just don't like going in there because I feel like the, the candles are super overpriced and I think the last time that I went was maybe like a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe probably even two years. But somebody on my TikTok live told me that they have like a strawberry scent and then when i walked into the store they had a bunch of new tropical scents and i'm just super into like fresh exotic fragrances and i feel like it's really hard to find like the right body spray you know what i mean and i feel like there's a different body spray for it every day like different kind of occasion mm, this one is really really good this one is in the scent fiji sunshine right i think that's what it's called Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, and this is giving like the fucking vacation I didn't know that I needed. Well, actually, the vacation that I know that I needed, and it's giving me very like teenage muchacha vibe. And I feel like since I'm near my 30s, my birthday's on Monday, you guys, and I'm turning 30, and I feel like uh, I'm kind of like bittersweet about my 30th birthday. I just feel like there's so much going on, like what the fuck like am i just having a moment right now like there's just so much going on in my life like i don't know i feel like i'm having a midlife crisis too honestly i also got this one it's in the scent pink pineapple sunrise mm, this one smells so good too honestly oh i'm just gonna smell just like a tropical fucking passion fruit you guys need to pick these up honestly they smell so good. I was kind of like sketchy about the pineapple one because I was like, do I really want to smell like a piña? But um, I feel like I've already reached the capacity of my fragrances that they kind of start smelling similar. And so I really wanted to add this to my collection because it super smells super sweet. And um, I don't have anything that smells like pineapple or anything. Let me know also your favorite scents. Comment down below. I really like sweet scents and a fruity scents. So if you guys know of any recommendations, please comment down below. Where are my girly scented at? That didn't even fucking make sense. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, moving on. I also picked up this Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower Exfoliating, Exfoliating Beach Body Scrub. Like, I just thought it looked very tan vibes. And I always need a good exfoliator because I do get a lot of spray tans. And I do, like, at-home tans. This one honestly smells super duper yummy. And I just really, really love it. Like, all the scents that I bought today are amazing. Um... For the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, I also picked up a little cremita so that way I can have it in my purse. And I just want to be that hot Cheeto girl that's just like puts on her um, lotion and it's just like there, like, you know? I asked us to hot Cheetos con like a modelo, huh? Dude, that's literally vibes. Like, oh, smell it. Dude, I feel like the crema smells even better than the fucking scent. Like, it kind of gives a little bit of a different scent. 
honestly i'm here for it you guys have to go pick this up like right now go get yourself a cinnamon bun and a starbucks frappuccino smoke a blunt and then just go shopping tell your boyfriend tell your sugar daddy go get a sugar daddy you guys like i don't know times are tough here in california everything's just super expensive so i think it's the year of the sugar daddy it's the year of showing your feet to make money it's just the year of we got a pop tag sis okay so i also saw that they had some overnight lip masks and honestly i was shocked like this shit smells so freaking bomb and strawberry delicious i'm a strawberry queen like anything strawberry i will literally buy it like i'm sad i couldn't find a strawberry perfume like somebody told me that they had a strawberry perfume but i didn't find it the only scent that i could find that's closest to strawberry is this one and it's called gingam gorgeous by bath and body works obviously duh, we know that it's from bath and body works pitch oh my god so this one it gives like a berry kind of scent like it gives like you know it's like raining and snowing outside so this is why this is what i feel like i would wear if it was like raining or snowing outside i'll go like strawberry snow bunny you know that's what it's giving babes and then also i picked up this um body wash i the only body wash that i got is in the pink purple sunrise uh because i don't know i've never tried their clear body washes i've tried their cream body wash you know the one that comes in like it looks like it's a um body like a body butter but it's a body wash for the body and honestly i don't like that formula it's too creamy i like a sudsy kind of type vibe this just smells like a fucking candy dude like all of these are giving candy like our mads are about to be so fucking lucky girl because this is just giving let's go ahead and open up what i got at Ulta. here we go look at me being a fucking youtuber look at me doing what i gotta do We're after the bag buddy i went in there to go pick up an hourglass concealer because i have recently been obsessed with nara on tiktok you guys know which one i'm talking about like she does those like videos where she's like has this like model husband and she's just like cooking makes everything from scratch and honestly i love her i love her videos and everything and i saw that she did this makeup tutorial that was like very model aesthetic because she's a model or whatever and models are all about skin so um she uses the hourglass concealer and honestly like i was so pissed that ulta didn't have it so now i have to go to sephora to go and buy it that's why it's just like so annoying i wish i wish that ulta and sephora were just like mixed together so you know i don't have to fucking go to the mall anyways let's get into it so the first product that i got i got a bunch of elf stuff so i picked up this um contour thing and i really really am i feel like i'm gonna love this because i really love their contour shades like they're not too warm and they're not too cool. I feel like it's just the right undertone. I'm actually wearing um, their cream contour right now um, in the shade. It's the one in the pot and it's in the shade Golden Days. And they're $7, you guys, so pick them up. I got this one because I wanted something like with a precise tip for my nose. So I feel like this is going to be super good for travel and just like for like everyday type of makeup moments. I also picked up a Born This Way concealer in the shade nude really 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 love this concealer this is honestly one of my favorite ones if you guys have dry skin i would 100 i would 100 recommend this if you do have dry skin um yeah just because um i love a full coverage but i don't like when a concealer makes me look chapped and chafed underneath my eyes i will say we need to start boycotting the tart shape tape concealer in the year of 2024 jenny 69 said it and it's just like really really crunchy on the under eyes you have girls that are, have dry skin even if you have oily skin that aren't moisturizing and then you put that concealer on top and then you go in with the cap not the cap on d and then you go in with the huda beauty powder it's just a tecata it's like girls are just walking around looking like masapanes so please subscribe to this channel if you want the latest and greatest baddie tips for makeup I feel like como que me hace falta un dulcecito o algo. Okay, so moving on. I went ahead and picked up this lip liner from Kylie. This is my first time trying her lip liners and I just wanted to see what the rave was about. And honestly, I also just needed to restock on a brown one. So this is the lip liner and um, it is in the shade Cinnamon. 
So it's pretty dark. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Let's see. This is like a super pretty brown. Honestly, it's definitely... Dude, I like how it's not even fucking focusing. Okay, there it goes. It's like a really pretty shade, like a medium toned brown. In the shade Cinnamon. Super cute. I love a good um, lip liner. Oof. I love how it smells too. Wooden pencils are just like my thing. Love, love, love. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is some um, eyeliners. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. I use it all the freaking time. It's literally the best. So shout out to Elf. I also picked... Oh shit, I got another one. I just realized that. It's because I travel a lot, you guys. And I do my own makeup for my shows. So yeah. I also saw this blush palette and I thought this was super pretty. Since I'm always traveling, um, I hate to take too many blushes. And I thought that this was perfect, you guys. Look at how pretty this is. Like, I thought that this was super freaking pretty. Like, I feel like it's all the perfect shades for just like a regular everyday kind of look. The colors are to die for. I feel like there's one of each color. And I love that it's like super small. Um, it's in the shade, it doesn't really say the shade name, just this powder blush. I love that. And then I also picked up two, um, cream blushes in the shade, um, peachy, peach perfect, and then dusty rose. Dude, I'm all dramatic, I'm trying to forget, okay, there it goes. And this is what they look like. Let me show you guys the Batty B big blushes that we have coming out. Dude, they're so freaking pretty. Hopefully I can show all of them at once. Look at how pretty. So these are, um, sorry guys, I have like the labels on them because these are technically like my samples. So these are the shades. They're super pretty. We have one of everything. And let me show you guys on this side how pretty they look with the logo. It's called Big Blush Energy by Batty B, you guys. Um, I'm super excited to announce that these are available to use. And I did use these in my last tutorial um, showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here. I am currently wearing bubblegum mixed with peaches and cream. I mix these two to customize this blush and you guys could also use these as anything that you want on your um face you can use it as a lip color you can use it as a eyeshadow enhancement like for an eyeshadow base and then you could also use these to mix in with your foundation to kind of give like a little bit more of a pink tone and also to um add like a pink tone to your concealer because i always like to add like a little bit more pink tone underneath my eyes because that's what helps give the best coverage but honestly i'm super proud of my cream blushes so it's just like really really nice obsessed with them really really truly so i also picked up another one of these i realized that i don't have this color or maybe i do let me see no i don't this is in the shade tan lines hold on I'm gonna be pissed if I have it. No. I really don't. I really don't. So it's a really nice color. These are $7. And I'm actually currently wearing this. So freaking pretty, dude. Look. And it smells like childhood. I really feel like this is so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chest because I feel like I wanna be the tia putona. You know the one that used to like put it on with the roller bitch i'm that tia now let me just try it is that like dramatic to like put it <gasps> dude i don't know i'm gonna go out to dinner i just don't want to do that for that i feel like it's a vivian dramatic way this is more for like a club appearance out because i feel like this is gonna like Turn the look into something else, let's not say. They're gonna be like, Eres prostituta? Si. Sí. Quien quiere saber? Dude, no mames. Como me lo voy a quitar, wey? Ah, pues ya que. 
was yucky on me. I think that's honestly everything. Yeah, that's everything, you guys. OMG, we finally made it to the end of the video. Thank you, girlies, so much for tuning in to watch my haul. Um, Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys. Follow me on Instagram and also TikTok. I'll be seeing y'all over there. I love you guys and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Adios.